Gordon Ross Nakagawa was born in Auburn, California on June 13, 1935. Nakagawa's naval career commenced as an NROTC Midshipman Battalion Commander at the University of California, Berkeley. He received his commission as an ensign in 1958 and secured his wings of gold as a naval aviator in 1959. His first assignment was with an anti-submarine squadron flying the S-2, an anti-submarine warfare aircraft. Following two deployments, Nakagawa helped carrier task groups develop counteroffensive tactics aimed at nuclear attack submarines. He also played an important role in the Pacific Missile Range Program, managing projects designed to improve missile ballistics. In 1966, Nakagawa earned a master's degree in electrical engineering systems at the Naval Postgraduate School in Monterey. After completing his education, Nakagawa reported to the 1st A-6 Squadron, where he flew the A-6 Intruder, a twin jet designed for all weather and night attacks. As part of VA-165, a squadron nicknamed the Boomers, Nakagawa deployed with USS Yorktown on two combat cruises in Vietnam one beginning in 1967 and the other a year later. It was in 1967 that Nakagawa took part in night attacks on a surface-to-air missile battalion, one of the first missions of its kind to be deemed a success. Nakagawa would look back on this accomplishment with great pride. In 1968, Nakagawa's A-6 intruder was hit by a 37mm anti-aircraft artillery shell in the left wing. Luckily, Nakagawa was able to land the aircraft safely. After returning home from back-to-back -back deployments, Nakagawa taught guided missile design and automatic control theory at the U.S. Naval Academy. In December 1972, the U.S. conducted an aerial bombing campaign in North Vietnam known as Operation Linebacker II. Gordon Ross Nakagawa was part of the first night strike on December 20th. During this action, his A-6 starboard engine was struck by a 23mm shell. Nakagawa ejected from his aircraft, landing in a rice paddy. He was captured by civilians and marched to the nearest village. From there, he was taken to the infamous Hanoi Hilton POW camp, where he endured solitary confinement, interrogation, and torture. There he remained from December 21, 1972 to March 29, 1973. Following his release, Nakagawa returned to duty as the captain of his squadron. During the evacuation of Saigon in April of 1975, Nakagawa flew as cover, supporting the helicopters conducting the extraction. He later described the scene as being probably the saddest day in my 32-year naval career. Following his Vietnam service, Nakagawa went on to command Naval Air Station Point Mugu and later served as chair for tactical analysis at Naval Postgraduate School Monterey. After flying 185 combat missions, earning two legions of merit, two bronze stars, two purple hearts, two meritorious service medals, and the POW medal, Captain Gordon Ross Nakagawa retired in 1989. He passed away in August 2011.